Still like, I'm the chairman of the Central Committee of Ex-Muslim in Scandinavia, and I'm the member of the Central Committee of Worker Communist Party of Iran. Or Iran. Yeah. Like that, our party is like the most, how to say, united, and the how to say most more inspiring sort of like you know left party among like you know Iranian politics. Like you no, know, we have like you know international TV channel on satellite, and yeah, like the member is like. We have over thousands of members and 400 people who are like, you know, clearly working and around 70 person, 70 people of like a member of the central committee. So I think we are the biggest among the Iranian um, politics environment regarding like you know, lefties and communism and socialism and stuff. That's really impressive. That's great. That's great. Uh, so what about the like religious fundamentalism in Iran? So we know we know that like Khomeini is a religious fanatic, and we know that he is governing with the theocracy, theocracy, and we know that the political Islam is the main ideology driving them. So like, what is the thing? Like, what is the threat of that religious fundamentalism that you have suffered yeah. that the Iranian resistance? Uh, yeah. yeah, as you guys. Most probably, like in 1997, there was a revolution against the kingdom, against the Shah. And like, there was like, you know, different uh, group of people participating in the revolution. There were like, you know, Islamists, uh, lefties, um, like, you know, some groups like Mujahideen, which is like a mostly like a mixture of like, you know, communism and um, like Islamism, like communism in the term that they understand it. Like, you know, we at the worker, Communist Party of Iran, we have like a different understanding of communism. But like, you know, what so called those days of communism, like Mujahideen was a mixture of like lefties and Islamists. Um, after a conference uh, somewhere in Spain known as like a uh, Guadeloupe conference, uh, like the 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 the, the capitalism the 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 bourgeois the, the, the leader of like you no know, most important countries like UK, Soviet Union and like US and stuff, they supported Khomeini and Islamists uh, as the alternative for the king for the Shah. Um, so basically, by their support, they could oppress the other group of the um, like you know, other groups who had participated in the revolution, like the lefties, as I said, communists, or like some others. And since then, like you know, we have specifically of uh, of a like you know political movement called Islamism or like Islamic political movement. Um, and Islamic Republic is the symbol or like the agent of such political party in Iran. We have Taliban in Afghanistan. We have Erdogan in Turkey. ISIS, uh, Al Qaeda, these sort of like groups, uh, I think they all belong to the same movement, and you you can see like you know very similarities between all of them, and I think they are supported by the capitalist government in the West, like no, no matter they say like you know we don't like the terrorism, we condemn ter Islamic terrorism in Europe and the in the West, but if you have a like you know deep um, the deep look and analyze well, how they behaved with the Islamists over these four decades, over these 40 years. Uh, I think everyone can say that, like, you know, the West is cooperating with the Islamists. They are, like, you know, the, um, the, 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 there is benefits for capitalist government in the world to have Islamists in the Middle East. Uh, right now, we have that this is the irony or like the most interesting part of the whole scenario. After 40 years, after 40, 30, 43 years of Islamic became the government, like Islamism are part of the government, yeah? We have a generation in Iran they said like you know, over 70%, 75% of the Iranian are under age of 35. We have a generation that do not accept the values and the, um, the rule of Islam and the government. So basically it's a battle between the young generation, specifically girls, uh, with the Islamists, with the government. And it somehow goes up so you can see like uh, the, the battle is at the bloom and sometimes it's like very calm, but still in there. Uh, we had this like, you know, burning hijab and removing hijab from I think five or six years ago, there was a bunch of girls known as revolutionary girls. 
they started like you know like removing the hijab and be against the islamic regime and since then um we have like you know the massive movement of women and now today we're talking after the murder after the killing of masa amini the 22 years old girl who got exec who got like you know killed by the islamic morale police because of the compulsory hijab law in iran there's like a massive protest at the moment they say like it's a women's revolution female revolution something like that and if you're interested in mansur hikmat like you know one of the most important codes of mansur hikmat is the upcoming revolution in iran would happen by the women so it's going to be like a women's revolution he said that like in you know, 30 years ago and um and now today everyone just talking about the women's revolution in iran and there's like a massive protest all around the country right now we're talking there's like you know battle in the university of tabriz and Esfahan. yesterday or last night there was like you know the the islamic police attacked the uh sheriff university in tehran and a tehran university also so basically as i said there is like a massive battle between the islamic regime and the young generation who do not accept the Islamic values. One more thing I would like to add, the number of atheism, the number of non-believers is dramatically rising in Iran. There is statistics uh, by this organization called Gaman, which are based in Netherlands. Uh, they said like only 30%, this is like a very interesting statistics and it's academic. So they have like you know, all the sources online so you can have a look if you like. Only 30% of the Iranians see themselves as Muslim. Only 30%. 70% converted to like atheists. So they're ex-Muslim, basically. And I was just talking to like Richard Dawkins during the Cone seminar. And he was saying, like, you know, that's a very interesting like statistics. Like you know, what's really happening in Iran is just like you know, very overwhelming and fascinating. Like, you know, just as an atheist activist, just like, you know, energize me to see like what's happening in their country. The young generation of the Iranian do not really believe in Islam. That's fantastic. <laughs> and that's the battle, I think. I mean, that's that's the things happening in, in, in Iran at the moment. A young generation who do not accept the Islamic values no more. It's really great to know, especially that statistics that is new for me. That 70% thing, that is, that is really... Good. Like that is really I can send you the link if you like. You can have a look yourself. Because it's also in English, and they have all the sources. 